from Fall of Porcupine. Apparently it's a adventure platform puzzle game, but it just looks really cool. That's why I wanted to play it. It should be coming out tomorrow. This is the demo. So let's see. Hi out there. Hope you're well and I'm glad to have you back. Today, I want to update you on what's going on in Porcupine. Again, I was on the road for you this week and ran into a lot of old familiar faces. Explore Porcupine, City of Silence. It sounds a little ominous for such a cute game. <laughs> Look at a little porcupine. Among other things, I stopped by Gilbert's this weekend and sampled Guiano's latest creation, Wild Gooseberry Beer. I could go for some Wild Gooseberry Beer. Highly recommend it for fans of fruity drinks. It's more for holidays though, but feel free to give it a try. I actually would. I don't really like sweet beers in general, but that sounds good. I love this time of the year, and you can probably guess why. Yeah, fall is only one step away from being winter, so yeah, fall is great. Very pretty. The Hibernation Festival is right around the corner. The preparations have already begun and I talked to the organizer. Explore Porcupine City of Joy? Interesting. Some popular bands will be on the bill and local arts will be represented as well. Plus, of course, there's the big stew contest again. Funny. It's kind of nostalgic. Goulash making contests were a thing back where I'm from. I remember last year, Chloe Colbert took first place with her sage soup. Bring your biggest spoon and try your way through. I really like the statue of the porcupine. It's really cute. There are a lot of highlights again this year. Take a few days off and stop by. It's so cute. Unfortunately, this is the time of the year when the days are getting shorter again. Oh, look at the bear in a coat. <laughs> Sage bear. Today, I had to put on a sweater for the first time. It's too early in the fall. Come Crazy. Yesterday, it felt like summer after all. Ah, come on. You can't do that. It's too early to put on a sweater. But I guess that's how it is with the seasons. You get used to the sun so quickly. I really don't. I live in a very humid and warm area right now. I am not getting used to the sun. It's too hot, too hot. Fall, winter, that's my seasons. This, right now, is deadly. You are essentially melting. Oh, look at that porcupine with the leaves on his back. Excellent. 
A good day always starts with being late. You and me both, buddy. And without Dr. Krakowski busting your chops, or a busted coffee machine that doesn't even get warm. Anyways, I gotta run. And I'm guessing now we're gonna... I see. This is left, right, left, right. This is jump, as always. No, and E is talk. Let's talk to the... Is that a wolf or a dog? You late too? Yep. I'm just here to show how dialogues work in Fall of Porcupine. I see. Thanks a lot. No problem. <laughs> and then he just leaves. Oh, thank you. And a little sign with the E. What if I follow you? I'm not allowed to. I read this. No bus station. This game is very pretty. I like it a lot. I uh, here it's a sign of uh, this is what you have to do is jump with the space ball. Oh, you can kind of float. Oh, if you hold it, you float more. Interesting. You just jump and it'll float. Wee wee Interesting. That's as fragile. How do you turn it around? Someone there. Rudolph, you hear something too? What you, sir? Whereas the last beer yesterday had already expired. Make a pot of coffee. I got a hound. Yes, that was my weird voice for the beaver. Thank you very much. Also, if some of the voices repeat, my arsenal isn't that big. What is this? That stop most probably won't see any buses today. You got the day off, but stop. Enjoy your day. Aw, he's talking to inanimate objects. Almost as if this is really me. Saint Ursula's Hospital. Saint Ursula's Hospital. You, how we heal. Interesting slogan. That slogan ain't half bad. <laughs> you how we heal. With the bear. Oh, I can check out on the bear. Who was that? That hat wearing giant. Hat wearing giant? Hey, big hat guy. Doesn't even have a hat. What do you mean? It's gonna be warm today. Hope you won't sweat too much under your robe. <laughs> oh, I can jump on the benches. This game is so pretty. Sprinkler. <laughs> St. Ursula's Hospital. These generic hospital signposts are fascinating. You find them at every corner pointing in all directions. Still, you get lost all the time. Must be frustrating for a signpost. Yeah. It's frustrating for me to be that dum dum. Oh, I can jump on the ledge. Interesting. What is that? Graffiti. Our hospital could use more art like this. But I'm afraid Mr. Mr. Heydrich and Dr. Theobald from the hospital management have a different opinion. Nevertheless, thanks, anonymous artist. It's very pretty. It's the little hedgehog with the leaves on his back. Some cars. 
And I can't cross this. Oh, I can jump in the car. Can I jump over? Watch. Maybe if I do. Oh. Really should stop jumping on some people's car. Oh, I can jump. Interesting the thing is you can jump on in this game. Well, let's go into the hospital, I guess. Saint Ursula's Hospital. Call of Porcupine. Such a cute game. Wait a moment. Oh, are those chuck dogs? The last time I ate those, I was a kid. Nothing else. I read that chalk dogs have been out of production for eight years. Consumer protection banned them as they didn't contain enough chocolate to be called chalk dogs. Those things in there could be worth a fortune. Inedible, but valuable. I see. <laughs> Good morning, Ingrid. You've been working here two weeks, and already you're late. That's not gonna cut it, kid. Yes, nice to meet you too. Save yourself the trouble. Bad day. Bad? My coffee machine is full of mold. And the snack machine ate all my change. Quite sassy, what's up with the snack machine? Any news? Did something happen last night? There's a construction site outside the hospital. Quite sad. Who knows? It was working last night. Old Gregor has probably been tampering with it again. Would you mind taking a look at it? You seem skilled. Did you just say I was late? Priorities, kid. You know my blood sugar is shockingly low. By helping me, you're helping the entire hospital. I'm on it. Yeah, that's literally what happens to me, always. I ask something and then people expect me to help. <laughs> this machine's dead. Unfortunately, there is nothing we can do for it. Time of death, we've talked to it. We've talked to it family, its family, I guess. Before it passed away, it signed a snack donor card. I will do my duty as a doctor. Smack it. Thank you, machine. Thanks to your sacrifice, others can now satisfy their sugar cravings. Here you go, Ingrid. Is that coffee cream prickle? Just for you, fresh from the machine. You just saved my life, kid. What was it you wanted to know? What's new? Oh, that's right. The cafeteria is closed today. Dr. Halal allegedly tried to heat up his microbiotic instant meal in Sergei's stone oven. That sounds not good. Such a mess. I hope you've made yourself a sandwich today. And two new patients were put on your ward last night. One of them has a nasty rash. A mean case of shingles, if you ask me. The other one was barely able to walk. Suspected urinary stones. But I think he's well on his way to renal colic. We kept both of them here for now. I'm sure you'll meet them today. The things you know, Ingrid. You've been here for 30 years, my dear. Now, let me enjoy this creamy coffee deliciousness. What are you still doing here? Hurry to the third floor. Otherwise, Dr. Krokowski will give you hell. Oh, the elevator is broken. Again. Don't even bother trying it. 
Got it. See you later. Yeah, whatever. Trash can. Hmm. Suspicious. Listen, trash can. I don't trust you. I've got my eyes on you. I kind of feel called out for being as weird as the weird bird in the game. Hmm. Elevator is broken. I kind of want to try still. The elevator is broken again. It often bugs me that I don't own a car, but at least I've got toned legs now. Now I feel cold out. The cafeteria is closed again. I don't even ask why anymore, but I don't mean to complain. Everyone in this hospital does their best. It's a good attitude to life. I complain too much, I think. What is this? The door is closed. The sign says main storage room. So that's the main storage room. That's the janitor's room. Hello, Mr. Glandover. Are you there? Leave me alone. I'm taking a break right now. Oh. And we can also walk out. To the back of the hospital. The ambulance is probably seeing better days too. I think even the equipment at my alma mater was more modern than this. And even that could be described as antique. But well, as long as it's still running, you don't have to retire it yet. I kind of like that old jelly. This is the reason for the closed cafeteria or the surgeons being busy. Hey. Towels, disinfect, disinfect, wow. Painkillers, towels, disinfectants, bandages. Just a regular hospital shelf or a hypochondriac shopping list. Hypochondriac? I think it's hypochondriac in English. Mm, well, in European languages, it's hypochonder. This is the chief of medicine's office and the hospital administration. Okay. Good to know. Second floor. This is our surgical ward. Interesting. We're going. No, up. We're going to the third floor. I want to check out if there's more floors. So cleaning stuff. Fourth floor. This is our second internal medicine ward and the intensive care unit. Interesting. Still go higher. The last one is the door is locked. This looks like a very creepy floor. So you can go into the different rooms. It's cafeteria. It's the room. What is this? Here's the storage room for our ward. Most of the time it's empty. That's why we get the drugs and materials from the main storage room on the ground floor. Okay, interesting. This is the way to our break room. 
There have been days when I haven't set foot in this room once. Why is there a break room at all if there are hardly any breaks? It's sad for the room to not be in use at all. Oh, He really is fond of inanimate objects. Room 32. Sleeping bear and a sleeping wolf, I think, or some kind of other animal. We'll see. Okay, and then room 31, we have an empty one. And I can't jump here. And then uh, another bear. But this one is a polar bear. Or a light brown bear. Stairs. And these are... I'm glad you made it before it got dark. Sorry about that, Dr. Krokowski. I asked the patient not to die until you arrived. They might not be so generous next time. I'll be more punctual in the future. Not more punctual, just punctual. Just punctual. Well, all right. Let's start the rounds. Time waits for no one. Well, we'll start with room 301. This is where rosters are posted, and a cleaning schedule. And someone apparently wants to sell a bike? I might take a look at that bike. Oh, there's three, oh, three, four. Oh, there's a lot of wards. Toilet, okay. Let's go to 301. Those shingles and something else. This is Mr. Kissinger. He was admitted last night with a high fever. He's also suffering from severe pain on the right side of his body and an acute rash. How are we feeling today, Mr. Kissinger? Good so far, Doc Krakowski. I had a rough night and I'm hungry. Well, that sounds perfect. I would have been worried if you slept well here. Mia? Yes? What do you think? What do I think? Your diagnosis. I see. Yeah, sure. I... Help Mia. Answer yourself. Do nothing. Let's help Mia. Psst, Mia. Shingles. What? Shh. E. N. Plus. It could be herpes zoster. A very pronounced case of shingles. Not could be. It is. You're right. I'd be lying if I said I expected that to happen. Let's not waste any more time. Get well soon, Mr. Kissinger. Thanks. We still have two more patients to visit in room 302. Let's go. The day is almost over already. Three o two, it is. Good morning, Mr. Kasparas. Good morning. Are the painkillers working? Yes, thank God, that was one hell of a pain. 
Mr. Kasparis came to us yesterday evening with severe pain in the lower abdomen. She has vomited a few times. Hello there and welcome. Critical Rabbit. Urinating is also difficult. Finley, you're very quiet. Delight us with your beautiful voice. What is our patient suffering from? It could be urinary stones. It's obviously renal colic. Please take me a turn. Uh, it could be urinary stones. Correct. Last night's exams were able to confirm urinary calculus. We suspect that the renal colic has already occurred. More tests will be conducted this morning. However, we will probably have to remove the urinary stones surgically. A clean diagnosis, a little cautious, but not wrong. Mr. Kasparis, I wish you a quick recovery. Call the nursing staff in if you need anything. Thank you so much, Dr. Krakowski. Follow me. Last patient, last chance. Good morning, Mr. Emmett. How are you today? Just a moment. What's this? Your dressing is soaking wet. When was the last time it was changed? Yesterday, I think. Yesterday at midday? Midday yesterday, Finley changed the dressing now. It's gonna be like a quick time event or, okay. Treatment, take care of your patients. Press and hold the shown buttons. Do not press other buttons or more buttons than displayed. Try to re react as fast as possible. Ah, you're a developer. Ah, it's really, really cute. For some reason, it's very nostalgic, but I can't describe why or what makes it so. The art is gorgeous, definitely, and the characters seem to be really, really fun. Although I just started. But I do love the... Ah, social media manager of the studio. I see. Well, welcome. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to concentrate on the quick time event here. Okay, okay, I'll hear you very much. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Hey, there we go. W and and L. C Q. Now oh, is this the Z? Um. Ah. Okay, and W. Alright, W. There we go. E. Q. E. Barely made that. Who was on duty yesterday? Me. I was thinking I was going to change it. The start room up here was empty. I was going to the basement to get a new dressing. And then you forgot about it. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I don't tolerate such sloppiness in this ward. Uh, Dr. Krakowski, it was probably just an oversight. Finley, you stay out of this. Get a grip, Mia. You're not going to get far in this change... Car, if changing a simple dressing flusters you like that. Dr. Krakowski, let's not get so worked up. You know yourself how stressful it is here. We're all so constantly understaffed in nursing. These two are new. Need to get warmed up first. That's no excuse. I don't want to see a mistake like that again. And what are you doing here anyways? 
This world storage room is empty again. Just do your job and take care of it. These rounds are over. Yes, yeah, really cute. The few characters I'm meeting right now, really, really cute. The sound also, very nice. Love the little birds. Try your hardest, Finley. I'm doing the best I can. If that's your best, then woe to this hospital. Rude. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun and really gorgeous at the moment. The most striking thing about it is really how great it looks. Very stylistic. Oh yeah, night in the woods. Nah. Thank you, yes. I, it was nagging me what it is that it reminded me of. Carl, it was a great of you to stand up for me just now. No problem. Why are you standing here? I'm waiting for the damn elevator. It's broken. Again? Great. What are you up to? I have to go to the main storage room on the ground floor. You heard what Krakowski said. The ward storage room is empty again. I gotta get up supplies need help i sure won't say no no but i could help you with the carrying let's not waste any time then we'll take the stairs unless they're broken now as well what could be broken about stairs you have no idea kid <laughs> that's a little ominous <laughs> oh he's following me Ooh, look at him <laughs> Going get down to the first floor. Get some supplies. Something else too. I need to go to this storage room first.
Is this the storage room? Should there be a prompt? Would I have to ask around first? kid aren't you supposed to be working right now i'm helping restock the ward you know that the main storage room is at the other end of the corridor sure i just wanted to say hi hi sure kid don't let things get to you no one here will thank you if you wear yourself out i see so it's on the other side huh This is our main storage room. My second home. Chaotic at first glance, but I have my system. You have a system? Yes, I have plenty of systems. Let me get our stuff together. Finley, you better stay back, kid. Anything could be hiding in there. You think you're grabbing a cable, but in fact, it's a King Cobra. Uh, why don't we have any snake handling gloves then? We do. They are somewhere in the main storage room. <laughs> Seriously? No jokes about King Cobras. Uh, okay, okay. No need to be hysterical. No jokes. Let's get this over with. Agreed. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting sounds. It's a lot of stuff. The day'll be over if we have to carry it all upstairs. Yes, and it's also and it'll also be the end of the day for my back. This hospital is really wearing me out. Who knows how many more years my body can take it. Why don't we ask the janitor to take a look at the elevator? Old Glendover, good luck with that. Don't you think he'll help us? Everything Gregor touches ends up even more broken than before. Come on, let's give it a try at least. Alright, but only because it's just one room further. I'm saving myself every unnecessary step. After you. Okay, so one room over. Janitor's room. Hello, Mr. Glendover. Who's this? On the... Oh, the newbie. What is it? Did you fix the elevator for us? I don't have any spare parts. You usually do it with duct tape and glue gun. That's why it keeps breaking down. I'd rather save myself the trouble. Duct tape? Listen, Gregor, we need the elevator. And I need my cigarettes. A lot of them somewhere, but where? No cigarettes? No help from me. If I find your cigarettes for you, will you help us with the elevator? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Say yes, you old grouch. Yes, yes, all right. I was on the front entrance parking lot this morning. I took the trash to the dumpster at the back entrance. And I took a look at Ingrid's coffee machine, but there's nothing more I can do for it. So my smokes must be there somewhere. I'm on it. I'm going back to our stuff. Don't want anything else getting stolen. Okay, so this is the back. Let's see the dumpster and see if we find some smokes. Gregor said he was at the dumpster this morning. There really are cigarettes in here. And they still look pretty good. The reddish brown sludge must have been on the pack before. Oh no. Oh no. Ew. Mr. 
Mr. Glendover, hello. Yes, newbie. Your cigarettes, I got them. They were by the dumpster. Good stuff, kiddo. Uh, you're really gonna fix the elevator now with duct tape? Well, you gotta work with what's available. I don't even ask them upstairs anymore. Management always promises they order new stuff, but nothing ever arrives. Maybe I'll give it a couple of good whacks. Usually helps. Hopefully, you'll get off my back when I'm done with it. No problem. Thanks. <laughs> Red brown sludge, huh? In a hospital? Ew. <laughs> I'm always, I'm always surprised whenever anything works in this dump. I'm not promising anything, but I think we can use the elevator again now. Pure luxury. Enjoy it while you can, it could be over soon. And when the time comes, try not to be in the elevator. Hi, hi. You were of great help, Finley. We can use people like you in hospital in this hospital. I'm glad I could help. Now, get going. You should start taking care of your patients. Talk to Dr. Krakowski. She'll give you your assignments for today's shift. Will do. See you later. There ain't no way around that. <laughs> can I still, still talk to you? Hey, Binley. You want to get yourself fired? Go and talk to Dr. Krakowski. Okay. Hey there, Mia. <laughs> hey there, Dr. Krakowski. There you are, Finley. Where you've been hiding this time? I was helping Carl carry the boxes to the storage room. They're pretty heavy. That's very kind of you, Finley. But let the nurses take care of that. You've done more than enough. I've assigned you three patients today. Look at your smartphone. My smartphone? We're testing digital patient records right now. You can download your patient information before your shift begins. Oh, okay. Got it. Send your slow update. Press I to turn on your smartphone. And we have St. Ursula tasks. New task available. Downloading today's schedule. Schedule updated. Okay. New task in progress. Now, take care of your business. Come see me as soon as you're done. Chop, chop. So we need to go 301, 302, and P31. Start with 301. And it is the other person who has shingles. Hello, Mr. Kissinger. What's new? I'm asking you. I'm spending most of my days lying in bed lately. Doing nothing. Looking out for out of the window. And you know that today is the beginning of meteorological fall. Is that right? No, I didn't know that. We've never had so little rain in the summer as we've had this year. That's fine by me. Let me take another look at that trash of yours. How come you know so much about meteorology? Are you in any pain? Let's look at the rash. Does that hurt? Just lying around is already pretty painful, you know? No, it's not that bad, I promise. Let's look at the rash. And it's another quick time event, I'm guessing. Okay, D. Oh. And N. 
A, Q, and Z, no, Z. G, A, and K. Treatment complete. B, I need to be quicker, I see. All right, that's it. What do you think? That's a pretty nasty case of shingles. We need to keep an eye on your rash and treat it regularly. Your circulation seems fine, though. All right, your instruments are pretty cold. They always are, I'm afraid. There's nothing you can do about it. One of the great mysteries of the universe. Fascinating. Have a lovely day. Okay, and we go 302 to meet Mr. Bear. Reminds me of the Broken Age too a little bit, art style wise. It's really cute. How are you, Mr. Emmett? Oh, much better. The painkillers have gotten me flying high. I'm glad to hear it. Could I maybe have some more of them? Well, unless it's absolutely necessary, then no. Oh, that's too bad. How about under the table? For later. Mr. Amit. Alright. My family physician is more relaxed about that kind of thing than you are. You won't need any more painkillers, I promise. Also, don't take painkillers. You're addicted. <laughs> I will take extra special care with your treatment. All right, I'll take your word for it. Okay. E. Oh. E. E. K. N. C. N. H. E. E. <laughs> Good job, me. <laughs> you see? Didn't hurt at all, did it? I don't know. I better get gone after dinner. You're the doctor. I'll check on you again tomorrow, okay? Alright. And B31. Mm. 
guessing B31 is on a different floor. Can't you see I'm busy? In fact, you should be too. Okay. Ah, yeah, no, it's the same floor, just different size. Okay, okay. Where is Mr. Bear? Good afternoon, Mr. Delvin. My name is Finley, and I am your attending physician. Hello, doctor. My name is Cassia Delvin, and I am your patient today. Here's to good working relationship. I'll make a storybook patient. You'll see. Nausea, abdominal pain, muscle cramps. I got it all. No spoilers, Mr. Delvin. Let me try to do my job well. Alright, let's get on with it then. Okay. Diagnosis. Find the correct symbol combination. A blue mark shows you that a right symbol is in the wrong position. A green mark shows you that the right symbol is in the correct position. In addition, symbols will be highlighted green when they are in the correct position. A symbol will not be in the correct combination more than one time. Find the correct combination within eight rounds. Press B and S to decide which symbol to use okay yeah so up and down press a and d to jump to the next position i see let's try this Let's see how close we are to the solution. Okay. This combination contains symbol. So we contain three symbols. Okay. But in the wrong place. Let's keep heart. Foot. Let's put foot everywhere. And then we know. Check symbol. Okay. So foot is definitely here. We still have eye and heart and skull. So let's do skull here, eye here, heart here. Okay. And we have skull and heart. Skull is in skull and eye. Okay, so either eye here skull here there we go and now we just need to find there we go diagnosis complete ah, okay so if you do less turns take less turns then it's I see I see what do you think I have a suspicion uh, we'll have to do some more examinations. Someone will come by later to grab blood. And tomorrow we'll know more. Alright. You are an excellent patient. I recommend you to the staff. Thank you. See you tomorrow then. I'll be here. Oh, and could you do me a favor? What can I do for you? If there's a blueberry pudding left over somewhere, I'll gladly take two tonight. If I come across a blueberry pudding, it's all yours. Perfect. <laughs> now we go back to Miss Girl. Do you take care of all your patients? Yes, all take care, uh, taken care of. Hang on in there, Finley. You haven't been with us long, but I see potential in you. 
don't underestimate this job. Don't underestimate your responsibility. Maybe then you will make it here. Go home now. You're working the late shift tomorrow. Then we'll see what you're made of. Have a nice evening. And somewhere we could check on a bicycle. I kind of just want to run around a little bit, see if there's anything interesting. Maybe the break room. <laughs> Anything here? No. Anything here? No. Don't want to bother the patients. Can I take the elevator? Such a cute game. Hello, Ursula. Get out of here, kid. You're working the late shift tomorrow, aren't you? Yes, finally, I get the chance to sleep in. Sleep in? Never heard of it. Is that youth slang? Have a nice evening, Ingrid. Down, now. I'll count to three. Oh, okay. Don't jump on Ingrid's desk. <laughs> She'll get mad. <laughs> they are still closed. Can I go thank Mr. Janitor? No. Let's check to the back. Ah, hello Mia. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Ambulin, Ambulin, how is it going? Finley, old friend, it's my pleasure to welcome you here. The sun is shining on my hood, and my gas tank is full to the brim. A fabulous day to be alive, don't you think? Absolutely, absolutely. May I take you for a ride? You are too kind, and a ride would be more than appropriate diversion. Unfortunately, time permits me no such favors. Too bad, right? Feel welcome anytime, should time permit you another visit. I'd love to. You are, as always, too kind, Mr. Ambulance. Always welcome. Did I just have that conversation with myself in front of Mia <laughs> with an ambulance? Great. <laughs> no one's going to think I'm weird. <laughs> Yeah, let's leave the hospital and I think we're gonna end it today here. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I know. No matter what happens, the snacks sit here and grow old gracefully. You need constants in your life. <laughs> hey! Already thinking about going home. Ready for the end of the day and ready for my bed. What? No, no, no. Come down to Gilbert's with me and we'll have a drink together. One drink? I'll soon become five. Come on, don't be a party pooper. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, but let's take Mia with us. She's had a rough day. Go ask her. I'll wait here. I've just seen Mia down here. She must be around here somewhere. And it seems fitting for a ramp. I am sorry. I am well stop jumping on that desk. <laughs> I'm kind of scared to jump on it a third time now. <laughs> Hey, Mia. 
should I now? <laughs> hmm, seems like a trap card right there. <laughs> Carl and I are heading over to Gilbert's for a drink. Wanna join us? I'm pretty pooped. Though, tough day. Then, you've earned a cold drink even more. Hmm. Come on, it's on me. Okay, you twisted my arm. But I will pay for my own tap. Deal. Hmm. I'll try to do it the next time I'm in the hospital. Just to note down, I'm very suspicious. <laughs> I'm telling you, a freshly tapped beer like that puts my feet back on the ground. No matter how bad my day see, day's been. You mean refuel, don't you? Refuel too. <laughs> sure. <it will. laughs> I'm not much of a drinker. But today, I'll make an exception. The day was stressful, but I'm kind of in a good mood. But while you're sitting here, could you do me a favor, Finley? Sure. In the future, please don't tell me the answers on rounds. I know I can do it, and I want to do it on my own. I know you can do it, too. I promise I'll hold back next time. Thanks. Here's to that. To Finley, the bow of silence. Wow. Great. <laughs> What's wrong? I think he's practicing already. <laughs> Has it always been like this in the hospital? What do you mean? Well, I've only been there for a few weeks and I fall into bed every night completely wiped out. Even now I'm finding it hard to keep my eyes open. I feel the same way. You've been there forever, Carl. How did you deal with the stress for so long? Well, I think at some point you get used to it. When you realize that the stress is normal, maybe it gets easier to endure. It's not like you can make a formal complaint about it. I learned under Dr. Theobald. He wasn't even the, ch the chief of medicine back then. He always had a sympathetic ear for people. For his patients, anyway. I would have liked to have seen that. And our internal medicine department was upstairs on the fifth floor. Come to think of it, that was all quite a while ago. Yeah, that fifth floor looks a little creepy right now. There's a ward on six. There was. Structural defects. Roman Heinrich from accounting said that was the only option. Too bad. I always liked it out there. Right. And the work? Was everything then like it is today? Well, not quite. We didn't have all this digital stuff. The doctors were always leaving the pens in the rooms. I had a really big collection at home. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> and Ingrid still fit into her normal office chair. But hey, woman is awesome. Yeah, I like her too. I know. But was it as crazily stressful as today? Huh. Hard to say. Like I said, it was quite a while ago. I remember I was always totally exhausted on my first few months, but that feeling went away at some point. I think it's like jogging. At some point you get past the point of exhaustion and you just keep running. I hate running. Hmm. Did you write this character somehow according to me? Because yeah, I too hate running. I like to go for a walk. Does that count? 
Possibly. That makes you by far the most athletic of us. <laughs> Sad, but true. No one has ever said that to me before. I don't even know how to feel. I gotta take a leak. You're ruining the moment here, you know that? Leave the kid alone. You gotta go. You gotta go. But no dawdling. My glass won't fill itself. <laughs> and I think that's where we're gonna leave it off for today. <laughs> I will remember though to try and jump on the table one more time. <laughs> we'll see how that one goes. But yeah, really, really love the art style. I really, really want to talk to Mr. Dog over there. He seems very fun. And in general, it's really cute. The characters are very cute. And the atmosphere feels very homey. And yet, there is some creepiness in the hospital. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for coming and chatting. And see you later.